Doing good is not about pleasing people or doing favours. Listen to Paul's reaction when accused by Ananias, who was the chief priest at that time. Acts 23.1 Paul stared at the Jewish council and said, Brothers, my relationship with God has always given me a perfectly clear conscience. The story behind Paul's trial, first in Jerusalem and later in Caesarea, starts in Acts 21 verse 15. Despite being on trial and falsely accused, Paul was not afraid. Romans 13, 3-4 People who do what is right don't have to be afraid of the government. The government is God's servant working for your good. A Roman officer saved Paul from the Jewish mob dragging him from the temple courtyard. Three Roman rulers concluded Paul was innocent. Acts 26.32 King Agrippa told Governor Festus, This man could have been set free if he hadn't appealed his case to the emperor. Unfortunately, Paul remained in prison for two years because Governor Felix hoped he'd be able to extort money from Paul and in the end left him for the next governor to deal with as a favour to the Jewish rulers. While justice on earth is fallible, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10 says, All of us must appear in front of Christ's judgment seat. Then all people will receive what they deserve for the good or evil they have done while living in their bodies. Here are a couple of questions to reflect on. Press pause for more time to reflect. Where have you experienced accusation? What emotions were you experiencing in the situation? What thoughts were you allowing? What actions do you want to take at this stage? Dear friend, listen to Romans 8 verse 28. For we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God those whom he has called according to his plan. Because of the injustice Paul received, the Roman Empire paid his mission trip to Rome, where he did state his case before the emperor. En route, Paul healed the sick in Malta, where they shipwrecked. Throughout the journey, Paul received favour from various officials. I bless you to experience the favour of the Lord. I bless you with pure motives when doing good. Listen to Ephesians 6 verse 8. For you know that your heavenly master will reward all of us for whatever good we do, whether we're free or slaves. I bless you to recognize the opportunity to do good in the midst of the injustice you experience. I bless you to receive every reward God has in store for you both in this life and hereafter. May this word sprout roots to do its complete work in your humanity, spirit, soul and body.